Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the rank filter node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and bring in a rank filter. And we're going to pop it in our footage. Now what the rank filter does is it examines nearby pixels and sorts them by value and then replaces the color of the examined pixels with the color of the selected rank or the pixel value of the selected rank. Meaning the rank is a value of dark to bright. So within each image, if we go up here to our rank, a value of zero is picking our darkest colors. And let me slam this up so you can see what's going on. A value of zero is picking our darkest color and a value of one is picking our lightest color. And that is the selected pixel color. Then what it's doing is it is reassigning the pixels surrounding those pixels, depending on the size. So if we have it set to one, only one pixel of the surrounding pixel, which would be nine pixels, is being altered. If we change it to 10, 10 pixels are being resampled. So the larger the number, the more resampling you have. And that is the gist of the rank filter. So what this node is commonly used for is to get kind of a paint look, almost like, like a watercolor look. So if we put in a value of seven and 0.7, this is the typical watercolor look. And you can see it doesn't really look like watercolors, but it's softening up and it kind of makes it look like brush strokes a little bit. And if we crank that value up, it'll be even more. Now, just so you know, you can go a value higher than 10, but just remember this is actually resampling pixels. So if you go crazy with your number, and your computer can't handle it, It's it might take a while. So, because even just at 10, and I have a pretty beefy computer now, playing this back is pretty slow. And that's just at a value of 10. So, just be careful when you're up in this so you don't get crashes or you shut your, your computer down. But uh, what are we gonna make with this? And you know we're not gonna do anything normal here, so we're actually gonna crank this value probably up to, uh, let's do 40. And we get this insane look. And this isn't usable, or, or you could use it, um, if that's the look you're going for. But uh, we can kind of create some usable footage out of this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add our trusty bitmap. Bring that up. Use our luminance. And we're going to invert it. And just get some info so we can reintroduce some detail into our image. So we've got our bitmap. We're going to bring in a background. And put that into our background. Then let's get a merge. And we're gonna merge our footage. So we just reintroduced from this, we introduced a little data in there. So we actually have a usable image, but we can kind of make this a little better. And we're gonna use our unsharp mask that we went over the other day. We're going to bring that in and we're going to change some of our values here just so we can sharpen that data up a little bit and then we can go back into our bitmap and we can mess around with our values to get the look we're looking for so we went from the original image 
to this image using the rank filter and then using our bitmap background and unsharp mass introduced a little more usable information and that is the rank filter i will see you in the next node breakdown